Good evening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Me oyen? Yes. All right, good. Yes, good evening. Welcome back. How was your day? Busy. How busy? Okay. All right. What is today's date? Good night. Good evening. What's today's date? Tuesday. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Tuesday. What month? July. What is the month? July. Exactly. July 28. And what is the year? 2020. Good. 2020. So welcome back. It's July 28, 2020. All right. So um, let's begin. Um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Comparative. Comparatives, exactly. So we mentioned that we have short adjectives and we have long adjectives. Um, how do you make comparisons of short adjectives? What is the rule? Adding ER to the, to the adjective. Uh-huh, you add ER to the adjective. So what is the comparative of cheap? Cheaper. 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 Nice? Nicer. 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 Now, when the adjective finishes in letter E, you only add R. You don't double the E. So nice, nicer. So you only put R. Now, what if I say expensive? What is the comparative of expensive? More expensive. More expensive. More expensive. <laughs> exactly. If I say dangerous, more dangerous. More dangerous, very good. So remember, how many syllables do we have in a short adjective? One. One is correct. How many syllables do we have in the long adjective? Two, Two or more. Two or more. Two or more. Um, what is the exception? Um, if you have a, an adjective with two syllables, you should say more expensive, more dangerous, more beautiful. But what is the exception to long adjectives? Silly, pretty, fancy, ugly. What is the exception? If the word uh, finally, uh, if you have in the word, uh, uh, for example, in the case of happy, this word uh, end in Y, you need to eliminate Y and you need to put uh, I and ER. Good, good. So remember, uh, that is the exception. Let, let me show you a, a document where I will explain what Ronald just uh, mentioned. See this here. Where is this? All right, let me see this here. Okay, can you see the image? Yes. Yes. All right. So uh, when we're talking about short adjectives, that means that the adjective has only one syllable. 
Examples, long, straight, big, tall, large, and hot. Uh, yesterday, I also reminded you that we classify the vowels that we hear, not the vowels that we see. So in the case of straight, straight, you only have one syllable. So long, longer, straight, straighter, big, bigger, tall, taller, large, larger, and hot and hotter. So these are short adjectives. When you make comparatives, you only put ER. With the second group, we have honest, famous, happy, and crazy. Now the, the last four, honest, famous, happy, and crazy, they have two syllables. So honest, comparative is more honest. Famous, comparative is more famous. And here we go with, uh, with what your friend said. Happy, happier, and crazy, crazier. So these are the exceptions. If the adjective has a Y at the end, then you will make the comparative like if we were using short adjectives. Any questions there? In the case of many? Many? Many is, uh, when you say many, you compare with more. So I have many books, but my sister has more. So you say many, and, and if you're going down, you will say fewer, many, fewer, mm. yes. Anything else? Any questions? Any questions or comments? In the case, good. Okay, very good. That's a good question. Does anybody know the um, the comparative of good? Better. Better. Let me see Better. here. Okay. Uh -huh. Here I have the exceptions. Do you see the document? Mm. Yes. 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 Okay. So there, these are the three exceptions where you do not add ER. So good, you said um, music in Spanish is good, but dancing is better. So, superlative of good is better. The superlative is the best. So these are the three exceptions, good, bad, and far. What is bad in Spanish? Malo. Malo. How do you say worse? Comparative. Uh-huh. So bad, worse, the worst. So mal, peor, el peor. And then you have number three, which is far. Far, farther, the farthest. So- um, What is the meaning far? Far means lejos. Mm. So you can say, um, la unión is very far from here. La unión is very far from here, but Nicaragua is farther. Nicaragua is farther than La Unión. Costa Rica is the farthest. Costa Rica is the farthest. So these are the three exceptions that we have when we're making comparatives with short adjectives. Any questions or comments, people? No. No. Okay. No. All right, so um, let me take a picture of this as well. Um, just to have uh, more information. All right. So this is much better when I'm seeing everybody here, all the audience. All right. So um, if you don't have any questions about how to make comparatives, I will assign you to work in pairs. I will, let me see this here.
Okay, do you see this uh, exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, at first you have the, the explanation, adjectives that finish uh, with one syllable, you add ER, and then you have to include AND. Now, this is the exception, adjectives with two syllables that end in Y, you will do the same. And then you have two or more syllables, you will say uh, more expensive. And if the adjective finishes uh, with a consonant, vowel consonant, like the case of big, you will have to double the last consonant. <coughs> okay, any questions before you start doing the talking? Is everything clear? Yes. 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 All right. So, 19 people. I wonder who is absent. So, I will make nine groups. And here we go. Remember, all your practice needs to be in English. Hello, Magdalena. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hey. How was your day? Um, good. Were you in your house? Uh, no. Were you working? Si. No, in your house. Okay. Okay. And uh, do you do uh cleaning cooking and all those things mm. do you clean your house do you cook for your family mm. cocina usted yes okay yes teacher all right so let me let me I don't know why the room eight does not read you, Josue Edgardo. Hold on. Teacher, yes. ¿por qué no me fui al grupo pequeño? Eh, eso, lo, es, es, eso es lo que estoy viendo. ¿Por qué no la lee el, el cuarto ocho? Porque el cuarto ocho la había enviado. Uh -huh. La voy a cambiar, permítame. Espero que les sirva. Uh -huh. Move to room six. All right. Carrot. Yeah. And it's hotter. Oh. In the second, Sarah, you. Mm. Sarah, the number. The number one, I am taller than my sister. In the second, Sarah. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? We, very good. We have some problems with the... With, with the, the connection? The, yes. Connection, the connection. Okay. Um, and... Can you send the, the picture once again? Because sure. it doesn't, I can see it very well. Okay, let me. 
Do only you... five. Only five. Can you, uh, are you using a computer or a cell phone, Helen? I am oh. using my cell phone to see the picture in the, in the group. Okay. So I use, I'm using the computer to the, to the class. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did you receive the image that I sent? On uh, the, on the phone, on the group? Yeah, in WhatsApp the WhatsApp, group? yeah, in the WhatsApp group? Yes. I did, but it doesn't look very well. Okay, let me try again. Yeah. All right. Okay, right there. Let me take another image. And this one should be better. Let me know if that one works, Helen. Okay. Better. Okay. Better, good. better. All right, good. Thank you. Sure, no problem. So we go here. Breakout rooms. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Um, casi, casi no se ve la captura. Casi no, no se ve la parte de la WhatsApp, los cuadros. Oh, you want the charts? Okay, let, let me resend it. Okay. Right here. Uh -huh. Good observation. Let me send it again. Okay. Right there. So. Hmm. All right, is it better now? <laughs> Can you see it better? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, teacher. Sure, no problem. Bananas are more healthy than um, hamburgers. Hamburger. Okay, healthy. Is it a long or short adjective? What is the last letter that you see in healthy? Why? Healthy. Uh, Why? So Why? it's one of the exceptions. So do you say yeah. healthier or more healthy? More healthy? Uh huh. Uh, what do you okay. think, Mercy? Healthier. Healthier. Happy, healthy. happier. Yeah. Ugly, uglier. Fancy, fancier. Healthy, healthier. Healthy. Yes. Healthier is the, the, the right uh, answer. Uh, healthier. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Andrea, que said the sun is hotter. The Dante. most hotter. No. No. Hot, hot, hot. Where are medice? Superlativas. Hot this. Exactly. So right now we're comparing, uh, we're doing only comparatives. So the sun is what? Hot this. Hotter. Than, hotter. Hotter, than, hotter the earth. than the earth. Exactly. Than the earth. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hotter. Hotter. Hotter than the earth. Hotter than then the earth. Then the earth. Yes. Then the earth. Uh huh. Hello, hello. Hello. 
Hello, teacher. Which number are you doing? All, all uh, sentences. We, fi we finish, but but we have some doubt, doubts. Oh, okay, what are the doubts that you have? Uh, the pronunciation, for example, in the case of hotel. Of? Oh. Hotel. 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 Um, yes. Yeah, hotel. Okay. Hotel. Okay. And uh, nervous? Ner nervous? Nervous. 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 Yes. Nervous. 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 Yes. Nervous. Nervous. So hotel. Nervous. 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 Um, father. 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 It's far. Oh, farther. Uh, farther. Farther. Ah, farther. 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 So you can say, I'm in Lourdes now, Santa Tecla, and let's say it's far, but far? downtown San Salvador is farther. Far. Okay. Farther. Okay. So you have to make sure you pronounce letter R that is in the middle. Okay. Uh-huh. Sound like a father. <laughs> right. The only difference is um, letter R. R. Far there. Letter R, exactly. Emphasizing the R, okay, far. Right, there. exactly. Okay. Okay. That, that's where you have to make the emphasis. Okay. All right. Um, last thing, last thing. <laughs> Adjectives with two syllables at N, one, two. For me, it's larger. Uh, uh, because large, one syllable, has exactly. one syllable. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, when you say large, when you say large, you only hear one vowel, large, because large. the la last letter E is quiet, so it doesn't count. So large, mm. larger. Larger. Larger, yes. Okay. So larger is correct. With ER. With ER at the end, that is correct. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Which, uh, which, which number are you doing? The toilet. Number 12. Number 12, okay, so you guys are yeah. almost finished. Yes. Okay. All right, good. Um. More. Which number Five. are you doing now? Eleven. Oh, okay. The sun is hotter than the moon. Okay, good. Which number? Number eight. Number eight. Let me see number eight in my cell phone. Hellers are more healthy than hamburgers. Okay. When we say healthy, how many syllables do you hear? Healthy. How many syllables? One. Healthy. Healthy. Mm, healthy. Two. Two. And what is the last mm -hmm. letter that you see? Y. The last letter is Y. Mm -hmm. And remember that if the adjective has two syllables and it finishes in Y, then you have to say healthier, mm. not more healthy, mm. not more healthy. You should say healthier. Okay. Mm -hmm. healthier. Okay. So healthier, you can say my sister is healthier than I. Mm. Salads are healthier than Hamburgers, for example. And number seven, the restaurant, the restaurant is. Okay. Is better than. 
Exactly. Well, it's better. Than uh -huh. That dresser. Exactly. Yes. The hotel is more. Which number are you doing? Twelve. Which number? Number twelve. Twelve. Yes. That hotel. Or but. No. Is worse. Is worse. Um, exactly. Because good, bad, and far are the I exceptions. Think. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay, that hotel is worse than this hotel. Than this hotel, exactly. Hello again. Hello. Hello. Did you finish the exercise? Yes. All right, yes. let's go I back to the... Uh-huh, yeah. I have a question. Sure, ask me. With the last, with the okay. nervous. Nervous. Okay, uh huh. The word in syllable ends in two. Nervous. Exactly. But um, <sighs> why I use more, more nervous? <laughs> okay, because if I said, um, I am more nervous than yesterday, when you say nervous, it has two syllables. Yeah. And the rule says that if the adjective has two syllables or more, you need to include more when you are comparing. More expensive, more beautiful, uh, more arrogant, uh, more nervous. Mm -hmm. So you, sh you should say more nervous because it has two syllables. Now mm -hmm. you will compare like if you have a short adjective, only when the adjective finishes in letter Y. Mm -hmm. So more nervous. Mm -hmm. So who is more nervous? You or your sister? You or your brother? He says, I am more nervous than my brother. Mm -hmm. I am more nervous than my sister. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. All right, hello. welcome back. So, any questions or comments about the exercise uh, we were doing? Well, I, I have difficult with the pronunciation. Okay, all right. You know, when you have problems with pronunciation, uh, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay. And um, so when you have like, okay, I have the, uh, let's say, uh, building. Building is a difficult word for me. So you need to practice the word building, building, building until you get the right pronunciation. So uh, practice makes perfect. Yes. Okay, may I have a volunteer to answer number two, please? Sarah. Okay, teacher. Number two, please. Sarah, Sarah is busier than Mary. Good. Sarah is busier than oh, Mary. Busier. Yes. Okay. What is the meaning of busy? Ocupado. Ocupado. Okay, Ocupado. What, is, what is the Ocupado. opposite of busy? Lazy, yeah, free? lazy, free, free. And remember, uh, next week we don't have classes, so uh, you know we're 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 gonna be on vacation. You know, <laughs> like if we needed more. Okay, number three, the sun is what? Hotter than the hotter. Very good. Number four, the earth. It's larger. 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 Very good. Number five, elephant. Is big, bigger. bigger. Okay. Bigger. When you say, uh -huh, are bigger. Because when you say elephants, it's in the plural form. So elephants are bigger. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. So if you left it in singular, make the correction. Okay, what about number six? Action movies. Are more exciting. Are more exciting. Are more exciting. Very good. Number seven. This restaurant. Is better. Is better. Is better. Than that yeah. that restaurant. Number eight. Salads. Salads. Are more healthy is healthier than hamburgers. Okay, listen to this. When you say healthy, it has two syllables, but mm -hmm. it finishes in letter Y. So mm -hmm. letter Y is one of the exceptions. So you say mm -hmm. healthier. 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 Okay. It's like happy. You don't use more healthier? Uh-uh. You're supposed okay. to say healthier. So okay. you say yeah. tomato is healthier than uh, Cheetos. Vegetables are healthier than sodas, for example. So you should you say like healthy. Healthier? Okay. You only the why? Okay, so you eliminate um, healthier. Why? I wrote it in the chat. It's in the chat. Healthier. 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 So you eliminate letter Y, you include I, and then you put ER at the end. So you say healthier. Okay, is is um, is number eight clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. What about number nine? I think weekends are nicer. nicer. Are nicer. Are nicer. Weekends is in plural. So the complement has to be plural too. So I think weekends are nicer. Are nicer. Uh huh. Okay. And what up? Okay. Then weekdays. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Of course. Yes. What about number ten? Lions. Are more dangerous. Are more dangerous. Are more dangerous than rabbits. Yes. What about the sun? The sun is farther. Farther, farther. farther. very good. The sun is farther, very good. Farther. What about that hotel? It's worse. It's worse. It's worse. It's worse. It's worse. Uh -huh. uh, what about number 13? Cars. Are faster. Are faster. Are faster. Are faster. Than uh -huh. Okay. Comedies. Comedies. Are funnier. Yes. Okay. How do you spell funnier? How do you spell funnier? Okay. Good. F F. F U N N I E R. I E R. And number 15. I am more nervous. I am more nervous than my friend. Okay, good, good. All right, nice. Okay, um, any questions? We're doing okay. You guys are doing good. So nice. Do you say the number 15? I am more nervous. I, I am more nervous than my friend. Yes. Okay. What makes a person nervous? When does a person get nervous? What circumstances? When you speak it to a, to the public? Okay, when you speak in public. Yes, sometimes um a person can get nervous. Do you get nervous when you're taking an exam? Yes. If, if you didn't, if you didn't study, maybe. Right. If you didn't study, mm -hmm. if you study, you're like, give me the exam. I want to answer now. <laughs> right. Good. All right. And and I have an observation. Um, in music, movies, or if you're speaking with a gringo. Don't be surprised if they break grammar. Don't be surprised if they say more healthy, more happy, more fancy. 
but there is a big difference with only speaking and speaking right, you know? So uh, keep that in mind that not everybody respects grammar. So when you watch a movie, when you listen to music, don't be surprised if you hear something different than what I'm telling you guys uh, right now. Okay, uh, any questions or comments before we change activities? No, not No, okay. So right now I'm going to give you space so you guys can talk uh, in a free way. Um, yesterday, I gave you time to do parts five and six on page 10, but we need to complete part seven. So let me see where is the book. So you need to open your books on, on page, page 10. Page 10 of your book. Okay, let me see this here. Page 10, page 10, 9, and 10. Right there, part 7. Okay, part 7. Can a volunteer please read that question? Brainstorm is little other restaurant service you have experience mm -hmm. are they are they as popular as delivery or takeout why do you think so okay good so let's let's think about um give me a name of a restaurant any restaurant tukson okay uh tukson is a popular restaurant now is it popular uh in terms of delivery or takeout why do you think so because some restaurants they are stronger like people visit them less but they have a lot of delivery or many people come to get their food and take them to their house so um uh, that's this is the question you guys will discuss right now a list of other restaurant services you have experience papa john's tugs on uh tony romas cebollines whatever and are they as popular as delivery or takeout so do they have the same demand if you go to tony romas it's usually full it's usually crowded do they have the same amount of demand when we talk about delivery are, are the questions clear? Yes. Okay. So let me assign you again. It's going to be just like five minutes. So you have to talk about the, the, the restaurants you have experienced before and compare their delivery and takeout services. Mm -hmm. going to be very fast. Loading, loading, loading. Remember when I assigned you to work in pairs is the time that you have to practice the language. Christian, how are you? Take out. Um, what do you think? So, why do you think so? So, if, if I say my favorite restaurant is Pizza Hut, okay. sometimes you have to wait. The question is, do they have demand in terms of delivery or takeout? 
So it's Pizza Hut popular for delivering pizzas? Yes. Okay. So that's that's the only thing you need to say. Look, the, uh, I know about uh, uh, Papa John's. You know, the restaurant is usually crowded and they also have a lot of demand with, with delivery services. So you have to say the same thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Another can be Wendy's. It's like a, it's like a Pizza Hut, right? Is it Wendy's. Any... Wendy's. Yeah, mm -hmm. Wendy's like is good. Hut. Has delivery, has takeout. Are are both are popular? Teacher. Yes. How do you say? Para comer en el restaurante. To I'm not sure. Eat, eat in the restaurant. To eat, eat in, in the, the restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. So when you go to the cashier, he says, let me have two combos. The, the girl is going to ask you, para aquí o para llevar? How do you say that in English? To eat in the restaurant. Okay, so for here or? Take out. Take out or to go. So to go is the same as take out. So for here to go. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Well, the, the, what is this? All the commercial. <laughs> yes. Commerce. It's, it's dangerous. For the moment, it's very dangerous. What is dangerous, Fernando? Zayn uh, pandemia. <laughs> Oh, the pandemic. Yeah. How do you say abrir el comercio? All, all the... How do you say what, Samuel? Abrir el comercio. Oh, yeah. Open business. Open business. Open business. Yeah. yeah, it's dangerous. We're not ready. We're not ready yet. We have to wait. All, rest all restaurants have service delivery. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the restaurant business, um, they never closed. So the delivery service increased with them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you have anything else to, to ask? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? <laughs> very good. All right. Practicing with Anna. Good, very good, good. Anna, you are are you in San Salvador? I I live in San Jose Villanueva. Oh San Jose Villanueva. Helen, you're in San Miguel. Yes, I am. Oh, what part in San Miguel? The city. The city. Okay, good. It's usually yes. hot. Yes. Almost all the time. Yeah. Thank God I, I work in an office, so it's cold for me all day. <laughs> Good, good. Yes. Yeah, if you're in San Miguel, La Unión, all them places, you need to have air conditioner. Yes. It's necessary. But it's not good for the, for the environment. Uh -huh. Environment, thank you. Yeah. It's not good, but we need it. <laughs> right. I mean, mm -hmm. I would love to have air conditioner in my house, but... <laughs> The bill is too expensive, you know. The bill is too expensive, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So w when I go to offices or institutions and they have air conditioner, I activate yeah. it, yeah, like <laughs> very cold. Very cold. So you like cold weather? I love cold weather. You know, I was, I was in San Francisco, California. Oh. And San Francisco mm -hmm. is very cold. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, I love cold weather. I, I love, love it too. Yeah, it's it's really nice, really, really, really good. Nice. Yeah. When it's cold here in San Miguel, all the people take take out all the the cold weather um, the sweaters, know, like the jackets, jackets, uh -huh. yeah, scarves, Quick, scarves quickly. So they <laughs> they go to the closet and found it. Okay, fine, good. Yeah. All right. So I think it's time to go back to the to the Perfect. main session. Yes. All right.
All right, welcome back. Um, does anybody want to say something about the restaurant you were mentioning? Opinions? Does your favorite restaurant have a lot of demand on delivery or takeout? Uh, takeout, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so a lot of people go there, they order and they take the food to their house. All right, someone else, someone else. Ronald, mm -hmm. I can hear you. In my group? Uh-huh, Jimena. We discuss uh, about the same restaurant about the food, Mexican okay. food. All right. La calaca, zócalo, los cebollines. Uh huh. And <clears throat> we take out. So they have takeout. They. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, la calaca we prefer has. Prefer takeout. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and we prefer. Uh, take out the food at the restaurant than delivery. But okay. I think in this moment, delivery is, is the there. best option, right? Yes. yes. Good. Anybody else wants to say something? Somebody? Anybody? Teacher, in, in, my, in my group? Yes. Pizza Hut service is better than Papa John's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, for, for the moment, all restaurant we, all, all restaurant house service, be the worldwide COVID emergency, emergency. all people ordered by, oh, all people ordered by delivery. Exactly. It, it is less, it is less dangerous. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a it's an option, you know. Like it's less dangerous. You pay a little bit extra, but you save your time, gasoline. You save time, and you are safer in your house. Yes, yeah. I agree with you, Fernando. Anybody else wants to give your opinion? Like Little Caesar, it's not my favorite restaurant, but the pizza is always ready, and yeah. you don't waste time. Exactly. Really? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Little Caesars, uh, you know, the, 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 the pizza is good. And the big advantage they offer is that uh, it, you never wait. They always have it ready for you. Yep. All right. Someone else. Sure. Yes. In my group, my group, excuse me, uh, we have the dough about pick and go. Okay. Pick and go. Does anybody know the meaning of pick and go? It's a synonym of take out. Oh, take yes. Out. So you can say pick and go, take out, or simply to go. What's yep. the difference? <clears throat> They're synonyms. So mm. imagine you go to McDonald's and you say, so welcome to McDonald's. And he says, let me have two combos. And I say, for here or to go? for here or to take out, they are synonyms. Mm. Yeah, they have Thanks. the same meaning, sure. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? No? All right, so what time is it? Let me see the time. Okay, uh, we still got- 10 to nine. Yeah, 10 to nine, because I need to take attendance at nine o'clock. So, all right, so, um, Part seven, page nine, 840, fanboys. All right, so let me show you this. Have you heard about fanboys? No. All right, let me show you what fanboys are. Okay, if you have your book with you, please go to page 11. Page 11. So let me show you this. Uh, uh. Fanboys. 
right there. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay, so these are coordinating conjunctions. 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 Yes, conjunctions. 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 Coordinating conjunctions. Now, this topic here, how do you say Apollo in English? Nickname. Nickname. This topic here has a nickname. What is the nickname? Fanboys. 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 F A N. B O Y S fanboys. Let me write it in the chat. Fanboys. Fan fanboys. Okay. So when you say fanboys, every letter represents something. For and nor but or yet. And so, so can I have a volunteer to read the first example? Listen eagerly, eagerly for he, he brought news of our families. Okay, good. So for he brought news for of our families. Uh huh. What about and? I need another volunteer to read the example about and. She didn't speak to anyone and nobody spoke to her. Okay, good. So when we use and is when we are making agreement with the first and the second part. First and second part. So you can say, uh, my neighbor, he is crazy and upset. So crazy and upset, they go hand to hand. So they make compliments. What about Noor? Another volunteer for to read this example? I don't what is the meaning of Noor? Okay, uh, I don't expect children to be rude. To be right, nor uh -huh. do they expect to be disturbed. Okay, all right. So I don't expect children to be rude, nor do I expect to be disobey. How would you say this part in Spanish? I don't expect children to be rude. No esperaría que los niños sean malos. Ok, no, es, no espero Uf. que los niños sean rudos. O nor, groseros. O groseros. Nor do I expect, ni espero ser desobedecido. Nor means ni. So you use nor mm. when you're talking about two negative things. Two negatives. So I don't have time nor money. No tengo tiempo ni dinero. Mm. So the two are negatives. The two are negatives. So nor is what we say ni in Spanish. Okay. What about but? Volunteer to read this one. They rushed to the hospital, but they were too late. Okay. So they rushed to the hospital, rushed. but they were too late. What is what is the meaning of but in Spanish? Pero. 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 Good. Now, another volunteer to read or. I will go shopping or I will go camping. Okay. Me iré de compras o me iré a acampar. Very good. What about yet? Volunteer. Kelly was a convicted criminal, yet many people admired him. Okay. So Kelly was a convicted criminal. Un criminal uh, fue algo culpable. Yet many people admire him. What is yet in that case? Sin embargo. Sin embargo, oh, yeah. aún, aún, uh -huh, many people admire aún. him. Yes. So there, you will use yet when you want to show contrast. You said, uh, this pizza is delicious, yet the price is a little bit expensive. La pizza está sabrosa, pero aún el precio está caro. So you're showing contrast. The pizza is good, but you don't like the price. 
So you use yet. And the last yeah, one the is, price. is high. Exactly, thank you. Okay, so you say the pizza is good, yet the price is high. Yet the price is high. Okay. okay. And the last volunteer to read uh, the last conjunction. So? I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. Good, thank you. So I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. How do you say so in Spanish? Entonces. Entonces. Entonces, or así que. So, this, this right here is very important that you guys uh, are familiar with it because these coordinating conjunctions are used all the time. Um, any questions or comments about this uh, about this topic? What is the meaning eagerly in the one sentence? Yeah. We listen. We listen eagerly. Eagerly. E eagerly is when you are paying attention. So mm -hmm. we listen eagerly. So everybody was quiet and everybody was listening. For Como atento. Uh -huh, exactly. So everybody mm -hmm. was paying attention for okay. he brought news of our families. Yes. Anything else? Any other questions? Teacher, what does it mean, the subject? Uh, what do you mean, the subject? The subject. Uh, what exactly is the question? Does it, the, the same thing that is subject? Coordinating conjunctions? Mm, yes. Yeah, that, that's the name of the it. topic. Coordinating conjunctions. Okay. Yes. Let me send you an image of this. So you have it as extra in your in your information. Okay. Um, any questions? Any other questions about coordinating conjunctions? Yes. This is yes. I have a I have a doubt. Uh, yeah. Specifically in the number three. Okay. Uh, and or. So okay. in so in this case you you put uh, I guess two sentences. So yes. always after nor you need to put the auxiliary and Not you need to respect. The, the, the time of the of the expression. No, no, it's not necessary that this is only an example where you use an auxiliary after the coordinating conjunction nor. But in a real life situation, you will say, um, she didn't bring the money nor the books. Okay. Yeah, so this example in particular, they include an auxiliary, but it's not necessary. Okay. Uh huh. Or you can say, I don't like chicken nor pizza. So you don't need an auxiliary. Uh -huh. Okay. Thanks. Any, anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No? No. All right. Yeah. No. Okay. So, no. Thank you. All right. Let me go back. All right, so let me take attendance. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, Sophia Stephanie? Present. Uh -huh. uh, Fernando Arturo? Present. Good. Uh, Coralia Rivera? Present. Okay. Uh, Ronald Humberto? Present. Good. Katia Marcela? Katia Marcela? Aquí. Right here. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez? Present. Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay, very good. Uh, Christian Alexander? 
presente. Present. Present. Okay, good. Josué Edgardo. Present. Present. Very good. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. Present. Present. Very good. Uh, Samuel Rosales. Present. Very good. Uh, Rocío Mejía. Present. Good. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Mercy Carolina. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. No Mercy, huh? Okay. Uh, Ana Araceli. Present. Good. Maria del Carmen. Present. Very good. Uh, Helen Mercedes. Here. Good. Present. Uh -huh. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Very good, Luis. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Christian Omar. Present. Good. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe. Present. Good. And we have Magdalena Emperatriz. Present teacher. Very good. Um, is Mercy Carolina back? Not yet. Okay, good. Okay, so let me, let me do this here. Okay. Uh, can you guys see the document that I'm sharing with you? Yes. Okay. So here we have an exercise for you guys to do. All right. So um, did you get the image? Yes. All right. Yes. So let me assign groups again. Uh -huh. With Sofia. Fernando will change with Stephanie. Anaraceli will change with Beatriz and I will have Christian with Rocio. All right, here we go. In the WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, yeah. yes. Mercy, you're back. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> okay. You I have problems with the internet. You disappear exactly at the time I was taking attendance. <laughs> but you're back. Yes. All right, good. Was late? 
yet yet I decide to take a taxi to work. No, yet no. Uh, what is the other? Well, thank so, you. So so I decide to take a taxi to work. Exactly. So. Yes. Es como so. Entonces yo decidí tomar un taxi al trabajo porque ya iba tarde. My classmate didn't study for the test. Yet she is still passing. I think. Which which number are you doing? No, number four. four. Number four. Number four. Number My four. Didn't... My classmate didn't study for the test. Uh huh. Yet she is still passed. Uh huh. Yet she still passed. Yes. Yet she still passed. Passed. Yes. yes. Good. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Sure. But he can speak Spanish. But for me is is option letter C. But because you can use so. Jun can speak Japanese, so he can speak Spanish. So, mm. John can speak mm -hmm. Japanese, but so. he can, but he can speak Spanish. Okay, he can speak Japanese, but he can speak Spanish. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is correct. Yeah, is correct. but he can speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. But he can speak Spanish. Okay. I was late. For I, I decide. Speak. I decided to take a taxi to work. I decided to take a taxi to work. So, so, yes. I was late. dinero. Así sería, no sé si dinero. Al final, la compañía no hizo dinero. Ellos perdieron, perdieron dinero. Entonces sería, no. Which number are you doing? Number five. Number five. In, In the end, the company didn't make money. So. No. <laughs> In the end, the company nor. didn't make money, nor... Nor... lose money. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ni ganó ni perdió. Mm -hmm. Nor. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Y nor. Ok. Miren, vamos a ver las seis. Six. My pet cat is cool. and um... Located in Asia. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. Which number are you doing? Uh, number seven. Seven. Seoul is a large city. And it, it is located in Asia. Good. It's located in Asia. Very good. Number eight. It's a large city. Uh, what's the number? Seven. Seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seoul. It's, it's a large, a large city. city. It's a large. And it's oh. located in Asia. Yes. And where is Seoul? What country? I don't know. <laughs> Japan, no. Uh huh. It's in Korea. In Korea. Uh. Yeah, it's the capital of Korea. Teacher, we uh. have a. Uh, a question. Yes. We don't remember the meaning of four. Uh, which number? Where are you? Number six. Number six. My pet, My cat, pet cat. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. is, is cool. And hungry. And hungry. Uh huh. For it didn't it come, it back didn't home come back home uh -huh. last night. Mm -hmm. Porque. No vino a casa anoche. Mm. 
Uh -huh. mm. So four, four introduces a reason of why something happened. Mm. Yes. Mm. So you four. say, I didn't eat my lunch for, uh, I had a late breakfast. I didn't eat my lunch for I had a late breakfast. So it's another form to introduce a reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. Oh, yes. Right, good. So you two work in the same school, Josue and Jimena? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you see each other in person? Mm, yes, a yes, little. But a, uh -huh, a little. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, a few. A few times. Yes. What, what section are you in, Josue? Uh, mm. Elementary, high school, junior high school? Uh, I teach or? Uh -huh. What sections uh, do you teach? Uh, bachillerato uh, or? No, uh, sixth grade to eighth grade. Middle school. Yes. Middle school. And you, Jimena? In preschool. Oh, preschool. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. How many years have you been in Champagnat, Jimena? Four years. Four years. And Four you? Years. Yes. Uh, this is my first year. year. Oh, okay, good, good. Nice. It's a nice place to, to work. To work. It has a yes. good reputation. <laughs> yes. Good, good for you guys. <laughs> Four. I think is um, four. Suppose these are four, but no, four. Which number are you doing? Six. Number six. six. Okay, my pet cat my pet is cold and hungry. Uh huh. It didn't come back home last night. Okay, so what would be the best option there? I think not. Four, 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 it didn't. Exactly. Four mm -hmm. is the best answer. Remember that four introduces a reason of why something is the way it is. I am angry for my brother didn't give me the money. So I'm, I'm introducing a, a reason. Oh. The more information, teacher. Exactly. You give yeah. extra information to explain why something is the way it is. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, the number seven. The number nine said, I have some... Free time. I have some free... Ah, I have some free time. Okay. Which number? An extra. Nine. Number nine. Number nine. Let's check number nine. I have, I have some free time. Some, some free. An extra ticket. Uh huh. Do you, you want, want to see a, see a movie? Uh huh. So I have and, some free time. And and. Uh huh. Good. And an extra and ticket. Ex do you want to see a movie? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Right. Yes. I have doubt about um, a number seven, number eight. Number eight. Let's check number eight. Number eight says the universe is a big place. There may be intelligent life out there. Uh huh. The universe is a big place, so so there may be intelligent life out there. Yes. This is so is so, the best option. Mm, okay. After 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 this. Ah. Yes, Ronald. Oh, sorry. After this exercise, uh, uh, can you explain again when you use jet, please? Jet is 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 used when you are expressing contrast. So you can say, I lost my dog last week, yet uh, I have a new one. So mm. I lost my dog last week, yet I have a new one. 
So you use yet uh, that, when that, you that, 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 that means in Spanish, uh, I perdí mi perro, pero tengo otro, algo sin, así. Em, sin embargo, sin embargo, ah, sin tengo embargo. otro, pero tengo ah, okay. otro. Anything uh, in Spanish, you sometimes you will say pero, sometimes you will say sin embargo. It depends on the circumstance. But at the end, when you're using yet in English, it introduces contrast. So, for example, okay. uh, I am hungry. Now, let, let me see. I am hungry, yet I haven't eaten anything. I am hungry, okay. yet I haven't eaten anything. So you're hungry, you should eat. But since I am saying that I haven't eaten, I have to use yet because it introduces uh, contrast. Contrast. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay, thanks, teacher. Sure, no problem. Um, the capital city of the United States, not New York. Is it Los Angeles? Mm, no. No. Me? No. Me is Los Angeles. Me Los Angeles. Ni Los Angeles. Ni Los Angeles. New York, ni Los Angeles. Yeah, no. Can you hold me? Carry these books. Okay. And are you busy right now? Uh, can you help me carry these books? Or are you busy? Busy, busy right busy. now. Busy. Busy right now. And useful. Yes, and useful. Ready, teacher. All right, so you guys finish already. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we have we have a, a dude in number six. Numbers my, uh -huh. my pet cat is cold and hungry. Uh-huh. For for it didn't come back home last night is correct. For yes, yes. Okay. For it didn't come back uh, home last night. Remember that in this case when we're using for, it's because you are presenting a reason why something is the way it is. So you said my cat is cold and hungry because it didn't come back home last night. Yeah. Okay. So for is the correct answer. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right. So let me rearrange this. Ha, ha, ha. Perdón, no entendí cómo era la anterior. In, in some paper. In, to... in some paper to white. Uh -huh. Este dice sunlight. In France, for to year, so he can speak in French. Oh, I speak French. Yes, yeah, it's so. Some live in France for two years, so he can speak French. I think it's correct. Coordinating conjunctions are interesting and helpful. Hello, teacher. <laughs> yes, how are you? I haven't seen you. I'm here. Which one are you doing? We already finished. Oh, you finished already. All right, so let's go back. Yeah. All right. Um, are there any questions with the exercise you guys just finished? I felt a little bit confused, but maybe we need to practice. Right. Now, remember that uh, um, this particular exercise can be, it is different than what you guys will see in a real life situation. So maybe the vocabulary, maybe the structures, but just keep something in mind 
Um, where is this here? Uh -huh. Where did I have that information? No, that is the one we just finished. The other one. Okay, this one here. Can you see the coordinating conjunctions? Yes. yes. Okay, we use for to express why something happened. We listen eagerly because he brought news of our families. So in this case, for introduces a reason of why something is the way it is. So because he brought news and she didn't speak to anyone and nobody spoke to her. So it was reciprocal. She didn't talk with anybody. Nobody spoke with her. Nor is when you're expressing two parts that are negative. I don't drink nor smoke. No fumo ni tomo. So <clears throat> the two are negative. So I don't know Mexico nor Guatemala. No conozco ni Mexico ni Guatemala. So the two are negative. But it's used to express contrast. They rushed to the hospital, but they were too late. But they were too late. What about or? Oh. Or is when you have two different options. It can be two positives, two negatives, one positive or one negative. So I will go shopping or I will go camping. Yet, it's used to express contrast. Kelly was a convicted criminal, yet many people admire him. Mm -hmm. And so is to express why something happened. I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. Any questions so far? Questions, questions? No. No? All right, so let me... Okay, so... Um, if you don't have any questions, we will go to page nine, part nine, actually. Part nine, now where's the book? Uh, yes? Yes, uh, with the group, we didn't, we, we didn't answer the number six. We okay. didn't. Number six says, my pet cat is cold and hungry. Four, it didn't come back home last night. So you're oh, thinking, okay. you haven't seen your cat and you're saying, oh, my poor cat must be cold and hungry because he didn't come home last night. Mm -hmm. So four is the answer. Okay, perfect. Thank yes. you. All right. Any questions okay. or comments? Yes, Sorry. ask me. Uh, the number nine. Number nine. Let me check something here. Number nine. Okay. Number nine, I have some free time and, and an extra ticket. Do you want to see a movie? So free time plus an extra ticket it makes sense. So, and is the perfect oh. answer. Yes. May, may I have a volunteer to do number one? We can go out for dinner now. Or later. Or later. What about number two? John can't speak Japanese. But he can speak Spanish. Very good. I was late. So I decided, so, to, so I decided to, to take a taxi to work. Number four, my classmate didn't study for the test. Yet she yet. passed. Very good. Yet she still passed. Number five, passed. in the end, the company didn't make money. Uh, didn't mm. Or didn't lose uh -huh. money. Or didn't lose money. Oh. No hizo dinero ni perdió. So they were even, nor. 
Now, if your answer is different than the one that we're sharing now, feel free to ask why the answer is different. Okay, number six, my pet cat is cold and hungry. But it didn't come back home uh -huh. last night. All right, Seoul Morning. is a large city. Okay, what country is Seoul? Korea. Korea. Korea, very good. Number eight, the universe is a big place. So, so there may be intelligent. So there may be intelligent life out there. All right, let's do number nine. I have some free time. And, and an, an extra, extra ticket. ticket. All right. I'm not really hungry. Yet. Yet. Uh huh. Yet the apple, apple pie, pie looks delicious. delicious. Very good. Elephants are big. But the blue, blue ones, ones are, are even bigger. bigger. Good. The capital city of the United States is not New York. Nor. No, 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 no. What is the capital of the United States? Washington. Washington. D.C. Washington, D.C. Because remember, there are two Washingtons, the city and the state. So you have to be very specific. Washington, D.C. Uh, 13. Okay. Can you help me carry these books? Or are you busy right now? Very good. I need a pen. And, and some, some paper, paper to write some, some notes. notes. Very good. And some paper to write some notes. 15, Sam lived in France for two years. So, so he, can he can speak, speak French. French. Exactly. So he can speak French. And the last one, coordinating conjunctions are interesting. And, and useful. And useful. And useful. Yeah. Very good. How do you say useful in Spanish? Util. 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 What is the opposite of useful? Uh -huh. In In English? <laughs> useless. Useful. Useful. Useless. Useless. Okay. Useless. Yes, useless. useless. All right, good. Useless. Okay, any questions about this exercise? Questions, questions? How do you say, uh, yes. what do you say for useful the... The, the opposite? Useless. The, the opposite. Useless. Useless. Yes. Useless. Let, let me write it for you. Useless. No, it's not here. Let me see it. Okay. Useful. Useless. So there you have uh, antonyms. Useful, useless. Useless. Okay. So, any questions so far about this uh, exercise? No. No? No. Okay, so part eight on page 11 is going to be your homework. It's very simple. You have to read uh, the three sentences that they have there and just identify if the sentence needs any punctuation, a comma, period, question mark, very simple. So part eight on page 11 is going to be your homework. Okay, let's go to part nine. I need a volunteer to read part nine on page 11. Volunteer, volunteer. Write a 10 line review of your paper restaurant. Uh huh. What, what services do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me write the um, page 11. Where is this? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so this is what we're doing right now. Uh, you guys will work together. I will make triads this time. Let me send this here. 
So you guys will work in triads, three people. Triads. Mm -hmm. And you will write this exactly. Write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. What services do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Use comparative adjectives in coordinating conjunctions. So once again, I will assign you to work in, in, um, in triads. One of the three people will be taking notes. So the other two will tell the person writing what to write. So let me see this here. Uh -huh. Three, three. So I will send this to move to room three. Let me move this to room five. Let me move this guy to room nine. And I think that everybody is set except, all right. So we will have one group with four people. So here we go. So remember, one person in the group has to be writing uh, what the others are telling him. So the first thing you need to do is, okay, what restaurant do we describe? Pollo Campero, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, uh, whatever restaurant you have, just make sure that you apply what we have been reading here, fanboys and comparatives. So here we go. <laughs> So everybody's working in groups of three, except one group that has four people. Don't don't have um, 
comparison, no, no, don't has um, competencia, ¿cómo se dice? Maybe el... with the Campero Chunks. Fly wings, okay. I think. Um, yes, fly wings. Um, I think buffalo wings are better than fly wings. I think. Mm-hmm. Buffalo wings are better than. Um, it is. is is better. Yes. Who's taking Weekend. notes? Stephanie. It's me. Oh, Stephanie's right. And okay, good. Ya me trabe. We are from San Salvador, right? Yes. Yes. Um, we can't decide a restaurant from there. Um, in San, in San Miguel? Yes. Mm -hmm. What the restaurant? What the restaurant? Se llama el. We are deciding about which restaurant we are going to talk. Oh, you can say Pollo Campero, Papa John's. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that you apply comparatives and the exactly. coordinating conjunctions. So. Don't worry about which restaurant to choose. Perfect. So we can go back to Pizza Hut. Yeah. De los comparativos y las. So what restaurant are you describing? Wendy's. 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 Yes. Wendy's is good. But it's too expensive. But McDonald's is more expensive. Yeah. I think my favorite is McDonald's. I love McDonald's. I prefer Wendy's. Yeah. Wendy's, I like the chili beans from Wendy's. Yes. Chili I like their good. potatoes. And chips. Yeah. 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 They have... Um, they don't sell only hamburgers, but they have like the chili beans, potatoes, and, and yeah, mm -hmm. it's 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 cool. Yes, it's nice. Yep. So, what restaurant are you guys discussing? We chose Pizza, Pizza Hut. Hut. Pizza Hut. Okay, good. So you're describing all the different characteristics hey. about Pizza Hut. Yes. Good. Um, I have a question. Yes. If, um, we can use two or two fanboys in a sentence. Sure, sure. Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, you can say uh, Pizza Hut is the, the pizza is delicious and cheap, yet you have to wait in line. Just an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, hello. Which restaurant are you discussing? The better Wendy's. Wendy's. Oh, <laughs> the best restaurant, Wendy's. The, be the yes. best restaurant in, in, in El Salvador. In, in terms of uh, hamburgers. Well, uh, maybe, but they offer other, 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 they offer different dishes, for example, Salad. Right. Uh-huh. Yep. Chili it's beans. cheaper than not. Ah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, chili beans are good. Yep. Yeah, Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King. All of them offer acceptable dishes. <laughs> I guess we can say it like that. No. Teacher. Yes, sir. How do you say concluimos in English? Fuimos. No, concluimos. Concluimos. Conclu oh, we concluimos concluded. De, de. 
Oh, concluded. we okay. concluded. We concluded. If, if it's past, you say concluded. So we concluded, concluded. that the best option so is. We conclude. Yeah, concluded. We conclude. We concluded. Or you can we say concluded. our conclusion is da da da. Concluded conclusion. conclusion. Yep. It, it depends how the rest of the sentence is. So our conclusion is, or you can say no. We concluded that. Uh -huh. So we concluded. Yes. That. So we concluded. That Wendy's is the best restaurant. Papa John's is the, yeah. The uh -huh. best restaurant in El Salvador. Good. Because your sauce is delicious. Okay. okay. <laughs> and and okay. what, you, 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 which, which restaurant did you choose? Buffalo, Buffalo Wings. Yeah. Oh, Buffalo Wings. And Campero. No, oh, Buffalo Wings is so delicious, but it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, so you know the, the chunks, the wings, um, everything is good. The sauce, yeah, the, the sauce, sauce is very delicious. Which which the... which number of sauce do you guys prefer? Um, the number two, no. Okay, I I traditional chose sauce. The traditional one, okay, and you traditional Christian, sauce. the traditional one, traditional okay. sauce. First level of the, the picante? The, yeah. Hot? hot, yeah. Hot? Yeah. Hot. The primer nivel yeah. de picante. Okay. La que no pica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. When I pica. went to um, Buffalo Wings, which, which was a while back, you know, I always chose sauce number three. You know, oh it, was, it was very hot, and I guess it was it an is. excuse to to drink more, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I chose it's necessary to drink more. Toss number three. Yeah, that is hot. It is, it is, but I yes. enjoyed it so much, so much. <laughs> okay, that's great. All right, good. Enjoy. Enjoy it. E-N-G-O-I. Okay. Lo in the chat. Enjoy. Okay. So what is the name of the restaurant you guys chose? Pampa Argentina, teacher. Pampa Argentina. Oh. All right. Okay. For birthday, for anniversary, for forever. Yeah. <laughs> reasons or not reasons, Pampa Argentina is the best option. Yes, All right. Teacher. Good. <laughs> to, to comparatives, when you use but, but we concluded they have more delicious sauce. Or or large, large. Mm -hmm. uh, Small or, or large? Or large, large. I think we can use, when this is uh, bigger than, is bigger than, any other restaurant? Any other restaurant, I mean, I don't know which restaurant could be. This ubication small, no, small, normal, small, normal. Mm -hmm. In galerias. Magdalena, mm -hmm. Helen, and Christian. Multiplaza. Oh. I'm scared with the t-shirt is um, with us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, we finished. We finished. Okay, <laughs> Sophie, Christian, and Coralia. Coralia. Yes. Christian, Christian, where are you, Christian? Right here. And... Is Coralia your first name? Yes. I don't it's my first. Oh, okay. Rivera Martinez. Yes. All right. Rivera, Rivera Martinez. Very good. Nice. <laughs> One. Let's go to room two. 
No sé, I, I don't know. Some. I think it's la landscape. 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 Yes, if like you, if you want if you want to enjoy a great landscape. Landscape, landscape is paisaje. Mm, uh -huh. paisaje por eso, porque view es como la vista, ¿va? entonces uh -huh. no estaba muy seguro si era correcto usar view o, o mm -hmm. landscape. Las, you you could use both. You can say you have a nice view or you can say you have a nice landscape. They are like okay. somehow synonyms. Okay. okay, thanks. Sure. We want to sound more, more fancy, so we, we will use landscape. Landscape, all right. Make it sound more attractive. Yes, yes. All right, let's go back. Fernando Arturo? Present Fer teacher. Okay, good. Ronald, he's here. Katia Marcela? Katia Marcela? Where's Katia Marcela? Here. Where? Oh, right there. Okay, good. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez? Present. Jimmy, okay. Josue? Present. Jimena? Araceli? Where's Araceli? 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 Okay, Araceli is right there. And Maria del Carmen. Maria del Carmen? Okay, good. Very good. All right, so I need the first volunteer to read what you guys wrote. Uh huh. Volunteer, Me. volunteer. Me. Okay, you. Okay. Uh, buffalo wings is better than Campero because they are especially to make wings. The restaurant has delivery service, pick, up, pick and go, and book and table. So we concluded they have more delicious sauce than Campero, but is more expensive than Campero. Good, very good, nice, excellent, very good, nice. Next one. Next, next. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay. The Pampa Argentina is a romantic and gourmet place. I recommend this restaurant because they serve the better red wine and the meat is juicy and more delicious than El Lomo y la Aguja. If you want to enjoy a great landscape, you must visit Pampa Argentina El Volcán. All right, nice, very good. Thank you too, nice. Someone else, someone else? Uh-huh, I had like five different groups. Time is money, people. Me, teacher. All right, good. Okay. Wendy's. Wendy's, they okay. They offer delivery services, take out, and you can eat in the restaurant. They offer social events. Wendy's is cheaper than other restaurants. They offer different dishes like ham hamburgers, salad, chili beans, etc. In that place, you can share with family, friends, boyfriend, or girlfriend. You can buy an economic combo. They have better service customers than others. Good, very good. <laughs> nice, good. Okay, who's next? Next one. Me. Okay, Helen. We talk about, yeah, thank you. We talk about Wendy's too. Uh huh. And uh, we said what was Wendy's has many services, uh, delivery, take out, and eat in the restaurants. And uh, you can go there for a breakfast, for lunch, and even dinner. They offer dessert too. They have many desserts to offer. When this has more restaurants in El Salvador than Papayans, for example, and um, when this is more expensive than Burger King, but it's more delicious than Burger King. All right, good, thank All you. Right. Nice, very good. Someone thank else, you. someone else, who's missing? Who is missing? Who's missing? No, no one is missing. 
What group is missing? There's one group missing. I think it is our. Okay. Well, we chose the Pizza Hut. They have the delivery service and the pick and go. When we talk about Pizza Hut, the service, the service is better than Papayons. Pizza Hut have a better environment than the other restaurant. Uh, the sauce of Pizza Hut is better than the Papayons, and the water sinks when they have a birthday boy, but is painful. All right, <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> yes, when, when, if it's your birthday and you go to a place and they sing to you, it can be painful. <laughs> yes. All right, good, very good. So all your stories they make sense with the topic we have been discussing. It's better. Uh, they have a, a more attractive place. They have delivery. So we're doing okay, fine. Okay, any questions or comments? No, no <laughs> questions, no comments. Okay. Uh, one question, but, yes, but is... For the, the homework, you say which part is the homework? Okay, in, in the uh, you're supposed to um, answer the question that I wrote. Did anybody see the question? Ooh. Nobody. Uh, Jose Eduardo, you saw it. Yes. What is the question, Jose Eduardo? Edgardo? No, creo que no entendí entonces. Uh, uh, okay, do you have a question, Josué Edgardo? La misma pregunta que, que tiene el compañero. Okay, Same so, question. okay, I wrote in the, in the platform, I wrote a question. Mm. I said, uh, do you prefer chicken or pizza, I think. So the idea, if you said, I prefer chicken because blah, blah, blah. Or if your answer was different, I prefer pizza because, so the idea was to compare pizza against chicken, you know. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer pizza or chicken? Pizza. Pizza. Okay. Pizza. So some of you guys pizza. say, well, I prefer pizza because, and you give your reasons. Or you can say, I don't like pizza. I prefer chicken. And you have to explain why you prefer chicken. So you have to answer that question. There is a, I will take a, a, a screenshot and I will send it to the chat. So I will tell you exactly how to get uh, there. Have you had the chance to visit the platform? Yes. No. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, make sure that the credentials that Inglés Corporativo gave you are working. So don't wait until the very last minute because we check your uh, your performance in the in the platform every day. So don't wait until the very last minute to to do homework. You see what I mean? Yes. So just like any other aspect in life, uh, it's better not to accumulate. It's better if you start doing it, you know, like every day every day, especially if you have time now, you should take advantage of it. So uh, once again, uh, the question was very simple. Do you prefer chicken or, uh, chicken or pizza? And you have to explain why of your choice. I prefer pizza because I prefer chicken because, so the idea is that you guys apply what we have been discussing in class. Got it? Got it. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Yes, I have a question. Yes. When when I enter to the platform, I see that um, modules. 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 Uh huh. Uh, units. Uh, the they uh, uh, they have a uh, homework. Yes. Yes. This this homework you're you're doing in the weekend or in what? Oh, you do it every time? day. Every day. Every day. Yes, because let me explain. 
Saturday, I have to check all your work. So that's why I suggest that you don't accumulate your work until Friday or Saturday, because it might be a little bit too late and you will start losing grades. So my suggestion is whenever you have the chance during the day, do your homework. So don't wait until Friday or Saturday because I have to send a report myself. Okay. Um, this homework is different than the forum? Yeah, it's the same one. It's the same one. It's the forum. Yeah, it's the same it's one. The same. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Okay. But maybe I have to include it in the forum uh, section too, so you guys don't get confused. Maybe, because I, I lose it in the platform. Okay, yeah, so I will make sure that that question appears in the forum section of the platform. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, any other questions or comments, class? No questions, no comments. Are you sleepy now? <laughs> you, you, want, you want to go to sleep? Yeah. All right, so we're going to stop right here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for making the space. I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time, eight o'clock. Okay. You have a okay. good night. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you.